is up, my friends? Welcome back to Health Plan Essentials. I'm Bryce. Thanks for being with me today. All right, the day has come. Are you ready? <laughs> I am not that enthusiastic. Anyway, um, I am going to show you the rest of the house plants that I bought here locally in Portland as promised in the first video. So um, I have got 10 gorga, gorgeous plants for you to see today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, the first plant I'm going to show you is this. It is a Stromanthe Trio Star. And oh my God, this is beautiful, isn't it? Check out the pink on this little gal right her. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love pink plants and this one in particular. It has got these long, thin leaves. It's got pink on the front. It's got pink on the back. It's just stunning in my opinion. Um, this one I bought at Symbiop, which is the co-op right down the street from me, as mentioned before. Um, they have such a cool selection of plants. I think cool is like the right word. They always have something new in there. And um, I found this one and I just, I had to have it. So this one um, at Symbiop cost me $30. Um, and I think it was well worth every penny that I spent. Um, definitely a show stopper. All right, that is number one. All right, number two is this boom. This is a variegated ginger plant. And oh my God, it is just stunning. I love this one. What attracted me to this one was the colors on the leaves. Um, they are yellow and green. Um, and actually my college school colors are green and yellow. We're the Oregon Ducks at the University of Oregon. And um, this just stood out to me. You know, like some things will just follow you in life, like your college school colors. Well, <laughs> that's what I um, saw when I saw this. So yeah, I uh, definitely love it. Um, I've never had a, a ginger plant before. Um, I'm a ginger, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so this one I bought at Tony's Garden Center and um, I forgot the price. Um, this one was $29.99. Um, because I had never seen one of these before, I was totally willing to pay $30 for it. So, yep, that is what I got. So, check it out one more time before it goes. The variegated ginger plant. The next three plants that I'm going to show you are all actually Hoya. Yeah, I love me some Hoya. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this right here. This is a Hoya Australis, such a cool plant. I loved the size of it, its maturity, and that's what really like made me buy it. Um, I really love the fact that it vines upwards like this. It's pretty cool. Um, it does have like little feelers right here. At least that's what I call them. Um, sometimes these will grow out uh, with leaves too. Um, but yeah, this one is totally um, my little thing. Um, this one I got at Tony's Garden Center for $34.99. So there's that one. The next one I'm gonna show you is this. This uh, was labeled as a Hoya Carnosa tricolor when I got it at Tony's Garden Center. And I was so excited to add another variety to my collection of Hoya. Um, and then come to find out later on, um, this is actually a Hoya Crimson Queen. Like, wow, okay, that's cool. Um, adding a second Hoya Crimson Queen to my collection. Um, I was like 
awesome still like whatever i still love it doesn't matter what the name is i bought it because of the way it looks so this one take a look at that up close um that to me when i was like walking up to it the little like what looks like a flower i thought it was a flower when i was walking up to it and i was like oh my god there's a blooming hoya what i had never seen one in person and then um, I just walked up and saw, oh, that's just like white variegated leaves. So, which is amazing too. I still love it. It's beautiful. This one has got several um, all white leaves in it. Pretty awesome. This one, I think I said already that I got it at Tony's Garden Center. Um, this one was $34.99 as well. All right. So last but not least is this Hoya Compacta. Isn't this one cool? Check this out. So um, I had always wanted one of these and um, to be honest, like I just wasn't willing to spend, you know, about $40 um, on one of these. So um, eventually though, I was like, oh, I want one so bad. I'm going to do it. Um, I really love this plant it's so unique um just the way it vines like that um this one is also called a hoya hindu roop roop <laughs> um i just prefer the the you know scientific name hoya compacta um but yeah this one like i said it was like 40 years like 39.99 so yeah um that one's really cool it'll be interesting to watch these grow so yeah, that is it for the Hoyas that I bought locally. The next plant that I'm gonna show you is this Boom. This is a Caladium Hilo Beauty. And yes, it is such a beauty. Take a look at these leaves up close. That might be a little too close, there we go. Hopefully it's um, focusing on that. Yeah, such a cool plant. Um, what's interesting is I had a Hoya, Hoya. I still think about Hoya. Um, I have a Caladium, um, but it went dormant um, kind of in late fall. And um, I ended up putting it away in a, like a really dark place, as, you know, I, I was instructed to do. Um, and so I was really surprised to see a Caladium growing like this in the middle of winter so um, i was like i don't know is it gonna go dormant right when i get home like what's it gonna do and i was like you know what? if they can grow it um like this and stay out of dormancy so can i i just got to give it the right amount of light water and everything so it gets a lot of light from a grow light um this leaf is new right here um this one popped out after I brought it home, which is really cool. These two leaves stand up by themselves and um, this leaf needs a little bit of help and that's okay. Um, I really love it. What's interesting too is um, someone asked me, isn't that an alocasia? And I was like, yeah, it, yeah, it was an alocasia at one point. Um, it was classified in as, as an alocasia but then was later reclassified as a caladium. So pretty interesting. It's kind of got like that sh same shape that uh, an alocasia has. Um, just, I've never seen an alocasia like this, but um, I, I see it though, you know what I mean? So, yep, this one I got also at Tony's Garden Center um, for $29.99. All right, the next two plants that I'm going to show you actually came to me as a surprise. I did surprise myself in buying them because I really thought I would never own one because I thought that they were cheesy. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you the first one and it's this. Dun, 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 dun. This is a string of turtles. And yes, in the past, um, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I saw this one and I thought that is so adorable. It is such a cute little plant. Like take a look here. Um, yeah, 
I, I don't know what I was thinking before. I was definitely missing out. So that's the first one that I got. The second one is also a string of, and it's this, this string of hearts. And this one has got a nice long vine starter. Oh man, I almost pulled it off. <laughs> oh God. Um, it's got another one here um, coming down as well. Um, and then it's growing out the top. So take a look. There, there you go. Hopefully you are being focused now. But yeah, um, I was really surprised. But I saw these, these came from Symbiop. Um, I saw their little collection of all the strings. They had different ones that, you know, they had like string of pearls also. Uh, I just thought I am going home with one of those plants and I went home with two. So yeah, that's what I did. Now, um, one of these, both of these, I mean, um, cost $10. So um, definitely worth the $10, like such a cute plant for only 10 bucks. But yeah, those are the two strings, string of hearts and string of turtles. All right, that brings us to numero nueve. And that, my friends, is this Syngonium Neon. Dun, dun, dun. Here it is. Hopefully it's uh, focusing. Um, I'll pull it back to me and hold it close. I will hold it close. Um, this one is just beautiful. It's got this pink on the leaves um, that is really unique to me. Um, I'm really happy that um, Arium Botanicals, that's where I got it, um, that they put the name on the, the label as Neon um, because I have bought several now, um, Syngonium, that were not labeled uh, and trying to track down the names <laughs> is very difficult because some of them look very similar to one another but they're different plants and so it's, it's hard to figure out what, what they are. But yeah, this one is a neon and I definitely love it. There is the signature Syngonium leaf. And yep, Arium Botanicals. All right, that brings us to number 10 and that is this boom. It is a wild thing. <laughs> um, this, is a monstera adansonii. I don't know if it's wide or narrow. It does not say. Um, I think it is a wide form just by the size of the leaves, but I could be completely wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this one is a little wild. Let me back up a little bit so you can see it. And like, it's got some long vines. So I haven't quite decided yet if. Um, I'm going to put it on a pole. Um, you know, I have my other one on a pole and it's, it's growing like really, really tall. It's actually almost reaching the ceiling now, which is crazy. But I saw this one and I thought, yes, that's going home with me. Yes, so um, where did I get it and how much did it cost? So this one cost $39.99 and I got it from Tony's Garden Center. Uh, and I literally saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a really mature Adansonii. And um, I definitely wanted to have it. So in all honesty, my other one is not doing so well. It's um, turned yellow, most of the leaves. Um, and I'm just seeing what it's going to do. Um, I'm just kind of like, Eh, if it survives, good, you know, if it doesn't, then eh, all right. So, and I know that's sad, but um, I have had to learn how to like separate myself from certain plants once they reach a point of like no return. And I think that's where it's at. But anyway, back to this one, this is just a stunner. Um, all right, that is number 10 on um, my list. Well, sadly, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
and then you'll be part of this Gorga, gorgeous plant family, and you'll get notified of new content when it's available. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone, have a great day.